Hi, welcome to another tutorial. Today, we're diving into creating our very own custom character. Previously, we installed Metapipe and set up our custom meshes. Also, we've created a starter scene in a previous session, so if you haven't checked that out yet, take a look before moving on. Let's start. First, let's load up our starter scene. Then, click on the Load DNA button. This step initializes our process. Everything we change between load DNA and save DNA will be our final result. With the scene loaded, now we can bring in our custom meshes. Note that controllers are not working right now, they will be working after save DNA. To use joint transform function, we need a main mesh and eye meshes. For the main mesh, topology and UV should match with the original metahuman meshes. You can either use combined shape or separated ones. If you want use body mesh, then you may not add the body shape to the selection. For the eye meshes, topology is not important. You can add any two spherical object to the selection or add them separately. Additionally, if you have other meshes like custom eye shells, cartilage, or anything else, feel free to import those as well. Otherwise, Metapipe will create other meshes on average shape. You also have the option to edit these meshes if you'd like later. Select all the meshes you want to modify. Ensure that they have the same topology and vertex order as their original references. While they're selected, hit Joint Transform. This might take a bit of time. Once it's done, you can continue making modifications like adjusting joints, moving vertices, or editing neutral pose with blend shapes. If you're all set, simply save your DNA. This rebuilds everything from scratch, so it'll also require some time. Once the DNA is saved, we'll see our updated metahuman. Now our controllers should be active. Let's test them out. And now we can proceed by clicking the toggle button. It's time to set up our body. Even if you're only focusing on the head mesh, having a body is crucial for the skeleton hierarchy. You can use the default metahuman body we exported earlier or import your custom mesh. Please click prepare to export first. Let's import our body. If you used a combined shape in joint transform stage, you can get body shape easily. Simply clear your selection and click build body button. Alternatively, you can import your body mesh into the scene. To build the body, first you need to understand the logic behind it. If you didn't check the building metahuman body skeleton video, I highly recommend you to watch that first. You can find more details for build body process in that video. Your custom meshes pose should be similar to metahuman body pose. More accurate poses will generate more accurate results. In this tutorial, I will continue with fix pose function. Although fix pose function fixes the poses, it is always better to have an accurate pose in the beginning. Select your custom body and press build body. You might see a shader error due to DirectX, but it's not important. After calculations are done, press fix pose and I will choose arms and legs option. This will only fix my arms and legs orientations. Just check if your rig is working correctly. If it is, then everything is okay. After this process, you can still edit your body, meshes, and expressions. Once you're done with the shapes, Let's fix our seam area. Before moving on, we also need to apply a vertex color map to the head mesh. This is a specific map and needs to be assigned to the head vertices. When we press prepare to export, this map was generated inside the DNA calibration data folder. To assign this vertex color texture to our head and avoid seams in Unreal, select the head mesh and go to mesh display. Click on Paint Vertex Colors. Inside there, locate Attribute Maps and import the file. Navigate to the DNA Calibration Data folder and select the image named Vertex Color. After doing this, you'll notice your head mesh gets colored. It's time to export our meshes. Inside Metapipe User Interface, hold click on three dot and select Export Settings. We need to delete extra meshes that we don't use. Simply deselect unnecessary meshes and select only the ones that will be exported. You can only export one LOD at a time. So if you want to work with LODs, please export them one by one and set up them inside Unreal. 
After deleting process, we will assign materials for each mesh to give separate shaders inside Unreal. To do that, please select meshes that should have different shader and press Material Assign. Let's set up our export settings to finalize our process. Open Export Selected Options. Inside it, make sure you have Include Options. Under Geometry, please check Tangents and Binormals. Preserve Instances and Referenced Assets Content. Turn off animation. Check all of other settings and when you set them, you can close window. At the end, you will have head and body FBX files and a DNA file. Please click on export. And that's it. Good luck with your metahumans and bye.